Hi, so in this video I just wanted to quickly take a look at uh, some of the details of the use of um, burette in titration experiments. So um, frequently question one in the Living Cert exam will ask you for the details of the experimental procedure in particular on the details of using the glassware uh, so things like burette pipette, volumetric flasks, conical flasks and so on and it's important that um, you know exactly what to enter there. So the uh, some of the points that you can make that will guarantee you um, marks or full marks for this question are as follows. So first of all, you have to check if the top tap is running freely um, because of the fact that um, some of the burettes have um, glassware taps, uh, which tend to stick. If they're stuck, it's important that um, the glassware is uh, greased. Then the bread needs to be cleaned. So first of all, using DI water just to remove all the impurities on the wall. And then second of all, we have to rinse it with the solution of the uh, chemical that needs to be discharged so that when the burette is filled, the solution or the concentration of the solution is not changed. So then the next thing to do is to uh, fill the burette fully and then open the tap uh, to allow the tap and the nozzle to be filled. Um, and when uh, we allow the nozzle the tap to be filled, we also make sure that the burette is emptied below um, uh, below the meniscus. Uh, so then after we close the tap, we can touch the, the tip of the burette uh, of the wall of a beaker so that the droplet that it might be um, stuck at the very tip of the burette is also removed. The next step would be to fill the burette fully um, to the graduation mark using the uh, dropper. And that's, a, that's an important point. So we use the dropper and we use the dropper to fill the burette to the graduation mark and we make sure that our eye is kept at the level with the meniscus. Then we open the tap and we allow the liquid to flows, uh, flow and then we close the tap when required. Um, so here we just have to be very careful that we um, uh, carry out the reaction slowly and carefully close to the end point of the titration um, so that uh, we don't miss the endpoint. And finally, once the endpoint is reached, once the indicator uh, shows us that the titration or the, uh, the pH of the solution changed or the, the required change has uh, completed, we need to read out the volume uh, with I uh, kept at the level of the meniscus. So things that we need to make sure that uh, we mention is clean the, uh, the burette using the air water and then solution. Uh, fill the burette and to to allow the nozzle in the tap to be filled. Um, also, we need to ensure that the burette is clamped vertically rather than slanted or at an angle. And then uh, we need to make sure that we check uh, the meniscus at eye level. And um, once we mention uh, three, four of those points, we should guarantee full marks for ourselves. So that's it for the burette and um, I'm going to continue talking about the glassware over the coming days. So thank you for watching. This is Mr. Ozek out.